everybody. Welcome to Crowd Surfing. I'm Tom Basso. I'm Joey Evans. I'm Stephen Wow. Hey, you want to be the first one. Huh? <laughs> I did. I'm going to call. Right off the I said it. I said, I'm good. I'm Camilla. I'm Z Garcia. <laughs> Oh. Joey looks like Steven Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> yep. My, my new shirt. Well, Take a picture. I was like, <laughs> I'm Tom Fass. Ah, he jumped right on you. <laughs> Jeez. Like, uh, Jeez. Sorry, it's been going on. Okay, off screen. All right, you will never see this shirt again. Anyhow. <laughs> if you roll the sleeves. What's the shirt have to do with him? Oh, or can you not close the sleeves in that? It just I looks can, like uh, what he dresses out on. You know what? I'm going to. Just. It's a real magician's <laughs> shirt. That's the thing. It really no, is. No, it doesn't help. Right, Joey? It's not a real magician's There's shirt. No, it has like sleeves. a look. It has like a magician's it does. look kind of thing. I'm assuming that's why you like it. I am Magic Steven Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> magic Seagal. Hey, we want to say thank you to some of our Kickstarter backers. We want to say thank you to Rob Quillen. Ooh. The Rizzo. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but also you spelled it that way. Lisa Connolly and Nico and Benna. That's like a combo. And then finally, Simone Briere. Let's try to pronounce correctly that last name. Okay. All right, you didn't tell me how to do it, so I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> Briere, right? Briere? Briere? And Michael Whitfield, while we're at it. Thank you, Michael. Michael Whitfield, that's right. correct. I know that one. Okay. This is a show where we talk about <coughs> Kickstarters and GameFound and BackerKit. And Indiegogo, we have a problem. Got one this week. No. We do. That Indiegogo. I like that. Still kicking. They're back. But before They're we do that, back. this show is sponsored by Backer Kit. So let's take a look at one of their upcoming projects. Hey, everybody. Today we're taking a look at the Magnus Archives role playing game, currently up on Backer Kit. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard me talk about the Magnus Archives. This is a podcast about horror. And I'm not even a really big horror fan, but these are so good. Uh, the Magnus Archives is about a group of people, uh, the, well, they're called the Magnus Archives, in England who are investigating stories that people bring them and about supernatural things that happen. And then they have to go and figure it out. And so in this, you are now getting to play. This is from Monty Cook and... Like here, the threat starts small but leads to a big place. There is a big underlying story and mythology behind this. And I don't want to spoil it because there's just so much going on in this. And in fact, it says skip the section if you want to avoid spoilers. So there's a lot of stuff going on in this. And if you are interested, uh, you can jump in on this. There's an early access pledge. It gives you the digital files. Um, do you want a Lightner book? Uh, this is one of the books that's in it. I actually remember this book, and I remember when it was. An XP deck. So if you would like to play in this creepy, creepy world, you'll definitely want to check out the Magnus Archives role-playing game on Backer Kit right now. It's so creepy. I like it. I like that last picture. You know? Yeah, the book with the spider on it. That spider looks yeah. hard spider to kill. The spider is one of the main themes of that it series. Really? It yeah, looks Ooh. hard to kill it that spider. Get cool. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. Here we go. Let's oh. take a look. Tic Tac Slash, I was taking a bath. Oh, on Saturday night. I like the name of this actually a lot. I don't know why that name amuses me, but this is like a... Yeah. Tic-tac-toe with cards and ninjas. And like different yeah, abilities. Man. Yeah, I thought this was interesting. It was an yeah. interesting take on something. I don't know if it's, you know, blowing the doors off or anything. But I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. 18 cards, tic-tac-toe, just a little twist on something you're familiar with. A little bit of asymmetry in the factions that you play or whatever. I thought it looked cute. And a print and play option, three bucks. Oh, how many did you get? I wonder, <laughs> I wonder, like, this almost feels like it didn't need to be kickstarted. I mean, they kickstart, oh, you know, button shy kickstarts theirs. They so, do, and yeah. this does look like also, a button shy game. I mean, it is very much a button shy, but not from them, you know what I mean? It's, right. You can play an app? That's cool. I don't think I made it that far. But I also feel like, at what point is this advertising? Like, did it need to be kickstarted? Maybe not, but is this... An easy way to advertise, though, it's other than that, it posted 100%. on BGG or something like that, you know? That's so, a good point. Did I need to? No, but how many people have now seen it because of it? Yeah. Where do these 
what are the, these little wallet things that they use? What are they for? Don't say wallet. Um, I don't know. Oh, I will say I ordered like 20 or 30 of these little things. Blank? For what? Because for I bought the, the Souls of Selig, and it has all these expansion cards from Button Shy. And the cards were sort of loose, and the oh. skulls fit in that. So I found a place to order like twenty of them. So I've got like my what skulls of sad looking. But what do, do they, they look the same? They look the same. Yeah, I mean they don't have obviously the words on it, but they're just black with the black with the yeah. plastic mm -hmm. inside. I have no idea what they're for. Maybe they're a cheap they're wallet, for. like just card wallets. I wonder, wallets. If, I I wonder if there's like that. business cards, like a cheap business card. I mean, I wouldn't mind having one. We go to conventions, put all the business cards in to keep them organized. And you, like, press it open and <laughs> want a business. Or you flip it yeah. up. There is that. I've seen those things, yeah. which are real tacky. But <laughs> <laughs> like the thing that, like, you it know, it comes across like a used car salesman. Like, hey, what about my car? Right. Yeah, it's yeah. awful. Oh, my bad. It's like a Pez dispenser for your business card. No thanks. But um, just so they're not all like floating around in my purse or backpack or whatever, I'd use it for something like that. Yeah, maybe that's what it is, and that that's a good usage mm -hmm. for that. Again, this feels like a button shy game, but not from them. And to be fair, it looks like a middling button shy game to me. If it was from them, I'd be like, this is in the middle of the pack somewhere. Right. Looks cute enough. Not one of their better games. My concern is, it looks interesting. I just don't understand why they put themselves under the same restrictions Button Shy does. It's like, it's an 18 card game. I'm like, it we can't be 20? We were discussing that, actually. Right, why is that standard what, now? Okay, okay so Go is ahead, it John. because, I don't know, because I asked the same thing. I'm like, why is we, we, can, we, we started like... Ponder, we went down the it. rabbit hole. I'm like, we why did. is everyone settling on 18? It's like, is it because a card, like a page would be 9, right? So two pages is 18? I don't know, because like 54 also is like the magic number. It too. also might be, depending on the card thickness, the amount that fits in those wallets. Well, if you went to 20, it might make it a little too bulging. And then you have to yeah. customize the, the wallets or come up with your own sizing instead of just using the generic ones. It seems like 18. 18 is everywhere. Is the way you know? I yeah, was, but I mean... It's, it's got it's, two pages of regular size paper where you can get nine cards on each. It's 18. That's I guess, but that's, that's an artificial said, then. constriction. I what if the game is 20 cards? I, no. We don't do this then with you're, board games. Then you're like, wasting. Oh, it's always 20 cubes, people. I don't know. But those are, those are made individually, though, or you make the length of the wood, and depending on how much they cut on that kind of stuff, whereas this is two pages. If it went to 20, it would have a third page that you're wasting most of it. Right, so then, but I'm saying, why do I never then see a 27 card game? If that's the because case, it if won't it's fit nine in the cards, wallet. then find a different pack. But then you're manufacturing a wallet, a custom wallet. That's okay, we're all going to be fair. About this Somebody up there I, I wish someone would do a 20 card there game. Has I don't been like... a nine, there has been a nine card design contest, and that must be why, again. Somebody You've seen those. mentioned there that it's because of the print style, I guess. They said they printed 18. 18 times 3 is 4, 54, so. Yeah. Love, right. love, well, letter. love letter 18? We're getting way off track here. Love letter. That's my fault. <clears throat> is 18? Is love letter 18? It was not 18. It was 16 originally, I want to say. That's oh, wasteful. Two Dominate. Players. Two player aids. Two player aids. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Dominate and delegate. This is a strategic war game with resources and base building. <laughs> A 60 hours 4X campaign and an love, epic skirmish mode awaits. I love the inspired by CNC video games. We, 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 we can't we tell you what we mean. <laughs> you know, CNC, the ones we stole the logo from. Look. The font, too. Command and Conquer. Look at the Thanks. size of these minis, though. When you watch that video, do you see the size of the minis? No. So oh. the only, not only did they steal the Command and Conquer logo, I mean, it's like. It's just like that, except those two words are command and conquer. Mm. Yeah. But also, they <laughs> often abbreviate this in the comments, like in people's quotes, and their abbreviation is D and D. <laughs> so it's like you guys can't win. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you just I don't know. But you should have maybe. Oh. I understand your game looking like or being inspired by command and conquer, but. Then just name it anything else. You don't have to be so on the nose about it. You can just say it's in. In fact, if you weren't ripping them off, you could name Command and Conquer as an inspiration. You're allowed to do that. But right? Not, I mean. But not yeah. if you have that like likeness too. Right. Then point. you're like, right. oh, we shouldn't mention them. Let's let's you know let's be careful. I don't get that. Yeah, these. The game looks fiddly too, boy. Those little 
the little cars and I'm, the little people in them. I'm telling you, it is these it's minis are this life. big. Right. It did have look had the little pegs. Is yeah. that a younger the Stanley? Meg. That's a no. <laughs> that's a younger uh, Charlie's Angels. You know, it reminds me of certain someone in this room. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah. <laughs> Never Under wear the suit again. <laughs> three <laughs> delegate. <laughs> Oh, man. I don't know. The 60-hour campaign is not, like, selling me on no. it. 60-hour like, campaign. I like tactical games, so that's a little interesting. This looks yeah. a little bit like that Hogs of War game that we we got in. But Oh, yeah. I'm not convinced. I don't like that. Again, I like Z, I don't mind if they want to make a Command & Colors game. So, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Right. But then Conquer. to use the font to just change it to D and D instead of C and C. <laughs> it just feels lazy. It feels like it's a cheap video game ripoff. Yeah, I don't know. Just there's no need to be that close. We we'll get it. Oh my gosh, wait, go back. Ooh, isn't that the literal logo from Command and Conquer? I mean, I know that's not their video. You mean a Scorpion Tail? Yeah. I don't know. I know that that's not their video, you know what I mean? Whatever. Right. But Hey. To the moon! Bestest memories! So, <laughs> this apparently has a following I didn't know about. I was wondering, yeah, well, is it based on something? Because I it didn't must see be. what this was, what I'm the gonna, pool was. The video that guy talked about yeah, I'm lost. I, I don't get it. What am I missing? It's been around for 10 years, apparently, from the video. I mean, quarter million dollars close to? Yeah, I'm I really, I was very it. confused by this. Yeah. I don't, it sounds like a confusing game like there was a lot of terminology that they were throwing around with the emotions and you can combine two sad emotions and you get a happy emotion i'm like what that's not how I don't think humans work so. um, <laughs> <laughs> hey if i'm sad and you're sad we're happy together <laughs> happy like, together maybe someone in the chat can tell us like what's the what's the secret sauce here i'm assuming maybe it's based on is it based on a web comic is it based on a um I always assume it's, it's an indie board. Ga I'm sorry, indie video game. Like Command okay. and Conquer, which is really funny because I was looking at this, I was like, "Oh, it looks like every uh, indie video game ever." Like uh, mm. my therapy, my personal therapy session kind of video that, game. That, the artwork of it. Is that a game? Game or a thought? No, no, I'm saying like that's I don't know, kind of the genre I put those in. I feel like okay. a lot of oh. indie ones are like a lot of indie games it's are like, like their therapy sessions, right? Yeah. It's like oh, I didn't okay. go to therapy, so I made a board game or a video game about my feelings. I gotta say, taking out, so take that that out. I don't know anything about it or not. I don't know that this is, the game looks interesting at all. It looks looks convoluted, yeah. and yet it sounds confusing, right? That's the thing with the emotions. Mm -hmm. The I was not following this at all. I mean, now that I know it's a video game, there's no in my head. I'm not going. Oh, it's a video game. That's why. I'm still sort of like, what? I don't yeah, yeah. get it. <sighs> this isn't helping me grasp well, actually, it. Yeah. Okay, so someone said the video game. If the video game is amazing, yes, right. then bam, I back the board game. You know what I mean? Right, that, yeah, that, that, that would explain easily a lot of backers. If the word oh, bestest yeah, yeah. is in the title, but is that bam, cool? I shoot you, huh? Because you have that Call of Duty. That Call of Duty was an anomaly. Right. I mean, yeah. you had so I, I assume more people played this than To the Moon. I don't know that. You don't know that, though. These little weird games get huge followings. Like yeah. Tic Tac Slash. I'm trying to figure out what this is about. I keep <laughs> I keep wanting to think it's like a Honeymoon sequel. Right. That's why I'm to thinking, moon, too. To the Moon, Alice! <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I don't think that's what he meant. <laughs> <laughs> he was planning to get it, to, to take it. He was bad. She was bad. Now they're happy. Now they're happy like, together. Like the fifth Got anger it. card. That's what happens. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. All right, Farms Race. Now, Farms Race was super smart. They made a card, <laughs> a promo set, that was a wingspan card. <laughs> got their project shut down from Stegmeier. Yeah. Until they got rid of that card, and they're doing, like, gangbusters. They got rid oh, of that whole wow. like, section of promos. It's good advertising right there. Yeah. Wow. That's how you do it. That. That's how you do it. You listen to CNC? <laughs> That's how you do it, okay? You call it Command 
and conflux. <laughs> you <laughs> get a cease and desist to the face. And you spell it F L U X. You know what I mean? So two places. Yes, two. You get one from Andrew Looney, and you get one from I don't know Sierra. Are they still around? Bam! And then you relaunch as dominate and defecate. So I think it's D and D. I think this game, oh. this game is basically like, what if Catan had fighting in it? With that's, nukes. That's, that's basically the yeah. the general it's, principle behind this. It's like take that Catan is what I was kind of walking away from. I like the FAQ like, down oof. there is like one of the questions is, are you a communist? I'm like, wait, <laughs> what? Oh, I love the, the, I that. Again, the superpowers. I was sort of like, okay, it's kind of dumb, but maybe when they finally explain all the special mutations. Yeah. Is there a part where they show you all the nine mutations or whatever? Yeah, right here is two. No, there's like a picture that has like nine of them. Maybe we already went past it. I don't know. <clears throat> One of them towards the bottom. Hang on. I'm going. I'm going. Where is it? We might have gone past it already. I don't, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, maybe. Yeah, here, right here. Hold on. So we got deranged, adorable, flying, radioactive. And then below that, one of them is straight up North Korean. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? It doesn't even make any sense. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like so directed. Like Steve. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> wow. Just put a random guy's name in there. And it's this so, is just, oh I mean, God. again, you can tell lawsuit. that this is from one of the people behind... Uh, of course, against you, yeah, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? You can't. Yeah. It's like, all right, I don't know. It looks like a bigger game. It looks like there's actually something going on in it. But uh. is there, or is it just? does it just look like a big game that's ridiculously dumb? I don't know. It's okay. hard to tell. If I was walking by a table, I would stop and maybe laugh at a card or two. And then the more I look at it, I'm like, I also might just keep walking by the table. It does seem like that one mm -hmm. one try, like that first time you played, oh, ha-ha, that's funny, funny. Five minutes later, I'm like, I'm good, I'm ready to move yes. on. You know, that yeah. that one-stop kind of kind of game. One I trick. don't know, guys. I'm not necessarily, I'm not, this one ain't jiving with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to see it, you know what Tropical. I mean, in person, and see if it's Tropical. actually, if it can oh. cut the mustard. No, it's... All right. Another Christmas Jeez, romance movie. That's creepy. Now this oh, one does man. crack me up because this <laughs> does look like a, a painted picture of every. If, if, oh, it does. If yes. you ever want to see some oh, humor, like look so at, much. You could look like like all those Hallmark movies, the pictures. It's like they just went stamp, stamp, stamp. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's it, hilarious. They had AI look at like you know fifty of those in a row and then said, "Make me one." Bam. Boom. And there they it said, is. "Video Done. on there." I mean, it looks like clips from Hallmark movies. It does. Yeah. yeah. It's and it's funny how they have all the tropes in there, which is true when you. Oh, These yeah. ha Hallmark movies have to have certain things in there. Like the Christmas ones have to have either Christmas cookies, presents. You know, they have a list of things they have to have. And this is pretty much reaching into those, which is crazy. It really is. I love these dice, by the way. Those dice are very nice. They now, one glow. move they pulled here that I haven't seen before, uh, and I'm not sure I would recommend it, in fact, is they <laughs> dumped the entire rule book. In the middle of this page. Yeah, Z was very happy about that. I like. I was looking at this. It looks mm. very fluffy, very light, mm -hmm. pretty dice again. But wait. Playthrough video, full rule book. <laughs> yeah. Full rule book. Like the whole thing. Yeah. The whole thing. It <laughs> keeps going. The whole thing. Are okay. you crazy? You have to put the whole rule book in the picture. Yeah, at that point I had to like sit up and like zoom yeah, in on like my the... screen because the light writing on the back. I was like, oh. more. More pages. Yeah. It was no. a lot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, though. Do you like the look of it? I really do. So, you want those dice. I'm going to back this. You would get this if it was an advent calendar with just those dice. Oh, I probably would. Maybe, but I, I actually think this theme is funny. It's tongue-in-cheek, taking a I look think, at yeah. these corny Hallmark movies where That's the great. city girl meets the country guy who... Who actually yeah. is a farmer, but he used to be a lawyer. <laughs> oh, you yeah, know, yeah. everyone used to be rich. <laughs> right. And then, and then they found simple the simpler life. life. Yeah, right. That's it. Yeah. There it is. Also, there's there's you got sued out of New York City <laughs> <laughs> for trying to copy Command and Conquer. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same guy. Anyway, I'm really interested in this. I, I was I surprised at how few cards there are in this. And I think that's when I was like, oh, wait, is this a smaller game? I feel like I thought it was going to be bigger, but when you look at it, it's like, what, 24 well, cards? 24 <laughs> cards and then a couple... Um, 84 dice. The other ones, but it's like... But the actual, sure, it's 84 dice. Yeah, yeah, that, so, yeah I was, I was, that surprised me. 
Does Bobby? AI art throw you it off looks, at all? It looks weird. I don't know. That's a pass for I'm me. Sorry. Does the art throw you off at all? I don't like the art at all. <laughs> but I would still like, as far as the game, I mean, yeah, I'm a sucker for Hallmark movies. My dad like knows them all because I guess he sees enough differences in them to watch them all. But I mean, that's just a very <laughs> fond <laughs> memory. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, watching them. We watch them every year. My wife has a checklist of ones we can't miss. Yeah. But scroll down, the, the red-haired girl in, in there, that was one of the cards, Looked like the girl from Mary King. It just every time I see it. That's yes. Okay. I thought that same thing. <laughs> like, I this thought about the exact to get good. same thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it's in there somewhere. Uh, but she was like that Mary to Mary King. Right there. Right there. Oh yep. man. Oh, but this is back. This is this is earlier. This is before. She's happy still here. Yeah. This is before so, she yeah, switched is, over to like whatever is it? Uh, Sci-fi. Yeah. Well, she yeah, she what, what channel is that? <laughs> Shutter. <laughs> Shutter. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Worms the board game. Oh, now I have extremely fond memories of playing Worms in college. I mean, we played Worms all the time. Did you ever play it? Oh yeah. So all worms, right, what is Worms? <laughs> so there was an again. old <laughs> video game that used to be these two gorillas that threw bananas at each other, and you would you got to pick how hard you threw it and the angle, and then the first person hit the other person won. Worms did the same thing. So it's like Angry Birds. Yeah, yeah, except that, except it's without person, touch screen. Okay, but it's got person it. Person against person. Got it. Okay. And you had all kinds of weird weapons with worms. There would be the, the most famous probably being the holy hand grenade, but there was oh, all kinds yeah. of crazy weapons. And then the worms, when they got killed or died, did funny little animations. But it was a little strategic. You could move the worm and shoot, and you're trying to. There was a baseball bat. I liked it, but the weird thing about worms is, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. It was a 2D game. Well, they yes. eventually transitioned to 3D video games. I tried once to play one of those. Did they have it? I did also. Mm -hmm. I got it for the PS, and I hated it. I hated him. Really? 2D, man. 2D was the way to go. Your little worm. <laughs> Still then, was like, the way to go. Throwing things or hitting a guy with a baseball mm. bat. But then they made this game and it's 3D, uh, right? They have to, I think. That's how the real world works. I do like the worms. I do. It looks super in, cute. They're all individual. I thought that was cute. Yeah, and that video shows them painted. I'm like, wow, this will be cute painted. Now, that being said, it's being made by Mantic, and I don't love most of their games. I think they put more effort into their minis than they put into their games. Yeah. Oh, those are great little worms, though. I know. The game, I mean, again, if you're bringing the nostalgia and they manage to keep it a pretty simple game, because Worms is generally a simple game. Yeah, you can have different weapons and whatever, and you could... They had really cute things where you could strap on a little backpack or, or like, a little helicopter and try to fly out and go somewhere mm. near your enemy. Like, they had a lot of fun things in a 2D plane that worked really well. If they can keep a lot of that fun, a lot of that silliness, the humor, and not get bogged down in rules, yeah, this I mean, will be good. It seems like a lot of the game is already made for them because they have a lot of that to pull Probably. from. So mm -hmm. hopefully they, it's really the, more the implementation of it and how do they implement it because they're not having to do a whole lot of... I'm going to check this one out. Design, maybe. Pretty yeah, expensive, right? Isn't it? It's just an adaptation more than anything. Right. It is not 100 yeah, bucks. That's not bad. Man, Ooh, I'm telling you right one. now, if I, I, would, I would go on Kickstarter right now and put out a game called Slugs using that same font. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Innovation <clears throat> Ultimate. So I just played Innovation. Um, I don't... I love Innovation, but it's like a small card game that they then yes. made several expansions for. And they already have a big box Innovation game, which we have in the library. It includes the first four expansions. Um, what does this do differently? I have not played Innovation yet. Well, it has artwork on the backs now. That's crazy <clears throat> that they added artwork because Asmati Asma does not do it. But the front, thankfully, if you're like... Oh, please, 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 don't make the front look nice. Don't worry, still looks like garbage. Okay? <laughs> this is what the cards look like, and it's very functional. I, I won't argue that. Asmati games are very functional. But oh my word, that's ugly. But, Tom, you need them to be able to be splayed. <laughs> Wait, what's the new, what's the new uh, thing? The, the angle you could splay? tuck, I think. And you could splay the cards, or you kind of spread them out, and you could see one symbol on the ones below. Oh, a slant. That's your favorite new one. Oh, word. splay a slant? A slant. It sounds like you're speaking a different language at that point. Let me splay it to you. <laughs> <laughs> now, this does at age 11, 
So there was 10 ages in the original game, and you are slowly getting technology, and usually by the time you get to 8, the game's almost over, 9, 10, you know, there's crazy technology, so they added an 11, and they added it for each of the expansions. You and feel I like it needed it? I'm pretty happy. I played the first, I played Innovation, I liked it a lot, then they added the first expansion, and I thought that expansion was amazing, and I feel like I could play that a ton and I've never oh, even okay. touched the other expansions because the first and the first expansion are great. I just played it with Chris uh, a couple weeks ago, and we played just the base game. And I was like, I really like this game. Wow. Now, if you really like it, I'm not going to argue, though, against people wanting more expansions. Most of the expansions, I believe, you like just add one expansion, and they're pretty easy to add because the backs of them are different, and you stick them underneath the other decks so you can pull from the expansion deck or the original deck oh, okay. type stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of easy to put in and out. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just thought they already had a nice big box. This feels, I would be a little annoyed if I had bought the other, well, I did buy the other box. I don't need another box. Right. You know what I mean? Right. This is like when AG did that smash up. Right. Big box, and they're like. The bigger box. There's a bigger box. Right. You get the big box I'm just for, for an ultimate to come out, or just for a deluxe that to come sucks. out, or just like, yeah, that's yeah. just a kick in the gut for Are they sure. The biggest one or the biggest -er? Yeah, I played this game a long time ago. And <clears throat> you did not love it. I do not. <laughs> Echoes of the Past is the expansion I played, and I've enjoyed that one a lot. Figures in the Sand looks interesting. Cities of Destiny looks like it changes the game a lot. And I don't know anything about artifacts, and I think this is the new one, the Unseen. The Unseen is the new one just here. So that's quackery in it. Is that like Bad Doctors? Sorry. You're good. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Hmm. And now there's new parlay rules for multiplayer, but I think it's best with two, for sure. All right. Harvest. It's a time to bring back older games, for sure. So Harvest is from Keymaster, which... May all it made us be so much better than Keymaster's last game. But Harvest is a reprint of a tasty minstrel game. What was it called? Harvest. H and H. <laughs> H and actually, H. Actually, I almost didn't play Harvest when it first came out because they had made a game called Harbor, which I thought was pretty terrible. But Harvest was a much better game. It's like a mini worker placement style game. That, for some reason, didn't load up here on my computer. I think it looks cute. There we go. Yeah. And I... Uh, they're getting some pushback. Some people don't like the look of this. I really I like do. It. Oh, my gosh. I, I think it's, it's adorable. Cute. This yeah. is I mean, really adorable. Like it almost gives me Richard Scary or... Uh, Richard, yes, Richard Scary. Or that's Golden that's Books. Yeah. Right oh, there. Right there. Yeah, that's wow. it. That's kind of okay. what I'm yeah. getting. That's okay. good. Because I was trying to figure out why this wasn't bothering me, because this is usually not my thing, is like animals dressed as humans. You know, I was like, mm. this one isn't bothering me, but I think it's that nostalgic factor of the golden books. Yeah. And scary. It looks like yeah. that style. I can see like the, Very much the so. gold binding. Well, not binding, but like the foil <laughs> yep. that they uh -huh. would put on the on the uh, the spine of the book. Yeah, it, it screams that, and yeah. uh, it looks neat. And that's the one thing, right? I guess there is a little bit of a disconnect there. That style, that look, looks like a children's right. thing, and it's not. This is not a kid's game. <clears throat> but I think nostalgia is so strong right now that it just doesn't matter. Yeah, we are all about that, you know, having something remind you of your childhood, but appealing to you right now, you know, mm -hmm. you know mentally stimulating you now as an adult. I think this is threading that needle very, very well. That is a gorgeous box. I don't think that gold edge on the outside is an accident. Oh, no, you're right. <laughs> right. Oh, you're yeah. right. Oh, man. <laughs> That's that like dead so on, by the way. That gold that is edge. That's so there. Wow. Anyway, I'm very excited about this. Uh, again, I like <coughs> Harvest. I don't remember. I can look it up real briefly. Yeah, I didn't realize this was built on a, a or based on a previous game here, but I like the idea of a little bit of polyominoes of planting your field, but then also, David you know, Nate. opening and expanding your farm, a little bit of asymmetry. It looks, looks so much better than the old one. This is what the old one looks like. Oh, what is that? Oh, Why? My. It was a fantasy setting type world where they're harvesting pumpkins and everything. How old? It's from the late 1800s. <laughs> no. Uh, 2017, so six years. Oh, it's not that old to look that bad. I gave it an eight. I enjoyed it, so. It was 18 card, I think. Yeah, it looks super cute, this new, this oh, new version. Oh, yeah. And Keymaster well really done. does have great production values. Even they though really I, do. I like most of their games. Their last game, I hate it, but it still had good production values. Yeah. Yeah, that one's cute. Very nice. Hybris Disorder Cosmos Rivalry. 
Wow, that what? name is hard to say. Hybris. Like it doesn't. It sounds like I'm saying. Ribbonigodijabagva. Yeah, that's way mm. too much mm. going on there. <laughs> Hybris, not hybrid. Hubris. Disordered. I assume <laughs> there was another one. Hybris disordered. The first three words. It does say "Welcome back, Cotter." Yeah. In our mythological world, and I do like that the look of the board. I don't know I that do. I love the box. I like that a lot. There, like that shot. I was like, "Ooh, that's an interesting board." It seems to be a lot of interesting things. Some of the footage, but then I got to there, and I'm like, "Oh, I hate the artwork in this game." Those yeah, two I'm totally different fan. art styles, though. Just right? don't yeah, like right. the don't artwork. Match, right? Yeah, that's not even close to the same thing. The minis are, are fine, I think. Yeah, the renderings, I that guess, hat's are not fine. not functional. Lay off her hat. I've seen that hat. <laughs> I've been to the Derby, and even that, that, that hat would be crazy. That hat was enough Valerian and a Thousand Planets. Yes, where they, but then were, they were going to eat her brain. It was, was a it plate. Of the planets? It was a plate, yeah. I do like the way they have her little pipe, the smoke. That it is connects very cool. the hat like to that. her little... It's going to give stability to the that's pipe. That's really clever, you know, yeah. right? I yeah. like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's one long pipe, though, for sure. It is. It's one big <laughs> hat. So, is this like a big dungeon crawl? There's a lot going on here. This is the one where... I'm trying to remember which is. Sorry. This is the one where it's cooperative and you're choosing like this god to play off of, and each round you get a hand of cards, and you have to uh, decide which one to scrap and which one to play differently. Cooperatively, so you're kind of combining your powers, but if you scrap a card, you're giving up a good power, but you get right, a yes. bigger power, mm -hmm. something yeah. like that. So I really like that level of cooperation in games. I thought that was interesting, um, that you have cards and you have to play them out in order, but also combine them with other players to maximize, you know, the turn. I thought that was really interesting. Yeah, it, again, like that image right there, man. That looks neat. I, mm -hmm. I like the look of that. I like that spread. I agree. The hard work the pop and too. just it screams. Like, like yeah. so much of this game to me screams crowdfunded. Twelve people have looked at this and not uh, one more. It's like, ugh. which at, at the end of the day, like I don't mind that if we're getting back to crowdfunding and it's like, hey, we've made it this far. We need a little bit more to get it in the play testing. I just, I, I don't know that I trust that that'll happen. You yeah. know what I mean? I hope that does. I don't mind if it's not quite refined. Please take that extra step and get it blind play tested. Get it play tested. Listen to the feedback. Don't rush production. Yeah. So this is the base game. Disordered Cosmos, yeah. 2021 is what it is? 2023. I guess it just came oh, out this so year. That's 20... So the first one was just Hybris, I guess. No, this is the base game. It doesn't say this is an expansion. Huh, okay. Oh, I did miss that. That is odd that I didn't pick that up from the Kickstarter page, that though. That's cover a is miss. A mess. It's a very particular art style. I like. I wonder if this is like popping. out publicly. I mean, we haven't. Well, this has not come through the Dice Tower yeah. Studio. I would remember it. That's cool. That looks neat. Yeah, yeah I, I like the board. I like, board. I like the board. little concave. That board is neat. Yeah. How about is that was Hybris? Is that one of the the original games? There, I saw that show up when you searched. Right. Sixty to one twenty minutes. What's that complexity? Four point. Ooh, look at that weight. Four point one seven. Right, yeah. See, that that's that's where I like my co-op games, though. Like I like oh, those. Oh, it was about where Spirit Island, about where Robinson Crusoe, right where Too Many Bones, it, like no, all three of those, like three Robinson of my favorites. Robinson Crusoe is like a three. It's the rule book that brings it up to a four. I don't know. It has Difficult fiddly rules. I feel like it's fiddle, fiddly rules. It is the weather, especially, always sends me for a loop. Oh, I still with with fifty plays, but I yeah. still use the player aid for weather. Yeah. All the designers in chat of the hybrids there. We're back. Huh. We're back. Well, Wait, I, like we... I said, I'm interested in, in it, but I, I have to see the base game first. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't realize that. it was an expansion. Yeah, that's. We well, I know it's completely said, different. It said it's like a reprint of the game. I think an expansion. I bet it just went out. and People were clamoring for more. Got it. I just completely it's missed that somehow. That was not. Because they can't. They can't kickstart the same thing twice, right? You're not supposed. But to. it's on you game have to change found. Something. It was game okay, found, right? So I wonder. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what. It could have been clear. Battlecrest Year 2. This is another 18-card game and another Now, this one is from up. Bud and Shy. Uh, I, just never, I just haven't played this one. Battlecrest is one not one I've played before. I would never um, guess it's a Bud and Shy game from that art. Though. No, this looks I like a different company. until I saw mm. who was I agree. I really don't like the look of this one. It's not one of... Really? I do like it. I like I their... They, I think they, they explore a lot of different art styles, to be fair. And generally, I like them. This one... 
is it bad to say it looks more like a Kickstarter game? It looks yes. more like what you usually find on Kickstarter. Yeah, it's not a compliment. I do. I like the gameplay of this. The artwork, I'm not crazy. You about. played it. You like no, no, it. I, I, I like the system oh. that they have. I, I read through it, but the artwork, I, it almost seems a bit too light. But again, it's 18 cards. That's it's one of those thing. games, you know. Um, I like the back button shot just to get some of the past. They usually offer some of your past ones. Mm, I agree. I, I, I like a lot that's of their huge. games. I really do. They manage to, well, people who make these games manage to do interesting things mm -hmm. with 18 cards. But when you are looking at a game that minute, you like the artwork is a tremendous part of a game that has 18 cards. Right. You know, if it has to be very charming. And for me, I... I guess I don't like the look, you know. All right. Next we have Build War. <laughs> What's with today and some bad titles? Oh, man, There's it is the day of it, man. A Build War condensed into just one turn. I don't even know what that means. That means nothing. Build, build war. war. Build War. Now, is that one word? A Build War into one round. Right. What? Is that like a command? Build War. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they created two. What was the first one? This is going to be Build War. It's going to be Build War again. It's called Make Peace. Actually, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, look. No, it's it comes Revenge up later, right? Do we have peace well, is, oh. <laughs> No, listen. Okay, now that I see that it's a Chinese company, this is probably just a translation. Oh, okay. I get that. Well, I'm I get that. Okay. Okay. I don't yeah. know what a it means. Translation. Translation. But then, like, right, a direct translation. Well, okay, well, then get, like, an interpretive <laughs> right. translation yes, for us. This <laughs> really looks like a CCG. Yes, it yes. does. That's exactly yeah. what I got yes. from this. Yes. Absolutely. There's a lot, though. There's, like, tremendous amounts of heady looking, you know. The artwork is sweet. You say heady. They really like their close-up headshots. Yes. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah. Their dramatic half shots. Yeah. yeah. Extreme close The guy's like, I could draw faces. Like, what else could you do? Shut up. That's what I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a while to fe Can't figure out that this wasn't, like, a re didn't have a real-time element to it because it talks... A lot about like build it fast, build it fast. You got to get the cards right. fast. And I was like, oh no, it just means you have to choose two out of this. It just means I think turns go fast. But they talk so much about how fast it goes. I was like, is this a slappy grabby game or? I think it's just a translation thing, like Thomas saying. Now a lot of it is being lost, in right? The, you know, colloquialism. So, hey, Delicio says the designer did. Oh, sorry, I cut you off. Go ahead. Go ahead. ahead. No, yeah. no, no, you're gonna say the no. same thing. I was, and you, but you started. <laughs> I will go and say. Oh god, I'll say. It. I feel bad. Who did Aqua Garden in Ostia? That's actually That's interesting. That's interesting. Wow, that makes this... me a lot more interested in the game. Okay, these are three completely different looking games too, not just visually, but mechanisms wise. I mean, mm -hmm. Ostia is so different than Aqua Garden, and now this here, like that is fascinating. Oh, you tap it too. You have to. No, you don't tap you it. You don't tap it. Whoa. You you build side. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I don't know. Ah. I have some word for it. Okay, this is a three-game combo from Latin America designers. And I'm actually a little sorry that this is not doing as well. Because I think I these agree. look cute, these so three was, little games. It's so always weird cute. to me the things that make a lot of money. And then the ones that... Don't. Are charming, that look finalized. Right. That have a lot of heart. And, you know, they do okay. They fund, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I don't get it. Sometimes yeah, these things are strangely unpredictable, and I don't know the logic behind it. These are charming-looking games. This one here in the middle is Pat Sakuraro. That one looks, and I'm just going by looks, that one looks great. Cosmic Cow looks funny, and I, I do like the... The alien tokens Those are and that pretty sort of cute. thing. I think it's really, really cute. cute. I like really cute. Like looks the big old eyes. Pretty yeah. simple. Neuro Riders looks also. It looks like a tile connection game. And, and mm. again, I like how that one looks. But the, the last one is the one I'm the most interested in. I like this. I don't know how to pronounce that. Pat's Cuero. I don't know. I like the art a lot <laughs> That's really on this pretty. one. I like the way the cards build their little pyramid. I like this one. Just looks great. No, if I saw good. this, I would stop and. Mm -hmm. yeah, and want to play it, maybe. Yeah, that, I think that's my favorite. My favorite one. The look of that one is my favorite. It looks really charming. Super cute. Yeah, I like that. I don't think these are also very expensive games. I think you get all three for forty nine bucks. That's a oh, good wow. deal. Insane. Yeah, that's really good. It's yeah, pretty good size boxes too. I mean, I usually discourage this Put kind of thing. Together. 
Yeah. Unrelated. Yeah, but you can buy one for twenty five. You can, and that's okay. And I get why they want to do this. They want to succeed it with you know, they're grouping them to succeed. It makes the when you think about it, it's even sadder considering they're making about twenty one right now. They're not done yet, but you know, twenty one. But that's really spread across three games. So it's like, right. oh man, these are not you know these. I wish we were doing better, but. Yeah. These all three do have a very cartoony, attractive artwork. They mm -hmm. are tied again by uh, the fact that they are coming from where? Where are they coming from? The Latin America. Latin America. It's yeah, they, they. I, I'm not like sort of thrown off, but the fact by the fact that they are grouped together in this one crowdfunding campaign. My favorite, though, I'm with you, Tom. Is uh, is that Patscoro or whatever? Yeah, what is it, Patscuaro? Patscuaro. See, I didn't love my, that one. I think my favorite's the first one, the cow, cow one, the cosmic the cow. Yeah, well, the like third the one I thought. The third, the third, sorry, third one is very charming, but um, it looked a little too like Encanto for my taste, it or something did? like yeah, that. Yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. like the well, cosmic like cow. Coco. Uh, yeah, but I just feel like yeah. this one's more unique, and I like that. Yeah, the the Neuro Writers is the the one that doesn't get the love. Is the middle one? It's like eh, it looks okay. Is this the Dodo's Riding Dinos? Was this the one that the logo is up there? Is that the same people or what? Was that a different? Maybe it said not. it's from the same people who did those, oh, I think. Okay. Or, or it's, it's not from the same people that them. They're associated. I forget what they said oh, okay, somewhere in here. That's uh, the developers of Dodo's oh, Riding Dinos. Oh, got it. Okay. Okay. That's super Oh, that's cute. interesting for some, from Fernando. He says they are on Backer Kid. I think Backer Kid is still working on getting the, the yeah. traction right. Yeah, I, I know, but we're also... Okay, well, that's the whole reason we're talking about it. Okay. But yeah, no, I think that's fantastic. It's yeah. Glad that it's kind of bringing the attention mm -hmm. to it. Four Horsemen, which is shockingly an apocalyptic co-op game. What? As opposed to the four deck, games used for a lot of things. Deck building, cooperative. Worker, or resource management. I don't think there right? was worker plays. It just seemed like a deck building game in which you work together to fight off big baddies. Um, These people look like a group of Gen Zers that are at a costume <laughs> party. <laughs> yeah. Those are some wings, though, back there. Yeah. yeah, they are. Uh, I don't know about this one. It's the look that's really thrown this one for me. That's I'm struggling. Dark. With it. it doesn't look that great. This looks like an indie. Hey, it's one guy, and I might be wrong, but it looks like one guy made the whole game. Did sure. the graphic mm. design? Those hearts look. What I. Yeah, I don't they think are hearts, right? No, they're little demon heads. The symbols look. This looks like very, and maybe this is a prototype. But that that these, this card looks like a prototype. This looks like an yeah. indie video game to me a little bit. It has that. Mm. It, if you told me, oh, that's based on a video game. If you told me that about this one, I'd be like, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, maybe it is. I don't know, but um, yeah, no, it just feels uneven. I think it feels uneven. I agree. All right, next, Vitrium. This is a Sagrada roll, right? Is that right? Not Sagrada, Sagrada. Yeah, it's actually three bucks. Print. Yeah, it's a print and play. <laughs> did you did you back it? Of course, you backed it. I did. <laughs> I did. Would you like three? Of, oh, Joey. Would you like three of Joey's dollars? <laughs> <laughs> Just put it on there. Like okay. You could probably go up to nine as long as they're ten. He'll back yeah. it. Yeah, it's gonna be single digits. <laughs> I do think it's interesting. It yeah. looks pretty. It looks like stained glass. I give them that. It looks Thank cute. You. It's just unfortunate that Sagrada so, so ubiquitous. It's interesting because it's you don't get Sagrada. that problem if you make like a train game. You know what I mean? Uh, Nobody's like, like, oh, yeah. ticket to ride or whatever. But you make a stained glass game. I guess there are dice too, so that is a connection there. But it immediately, it's like. Nobody here looked at that and did not immediately think Sagrada. Right. Right. I think that you know happens I mean? anytime something is kind of new. I mean, I think the same thing with Wingspan. You make a bird game, I'm like, oh, is it a Wingspan ripoff? Yeah. Even if it's mechanically completely different. You know, <coughs> that's just unfortunate. Yeah, I agree. It looks cute, though. I like the concept of <clears throat> making combos, like a square of blues, and all you need is for blue to be in it, period. That's interesting to me. Hmm. So you want as many different colors in each square as you can to finish more. To finish more. Uh, yeah. 
things. I do wonder if visually, though, it's not going to be a bit of a mess. Well, it's not going to be as neatly colored as this, I can tell that's you that. Right, and that's... No. It'll be real neat the first time. By the end, you're just going, scribble, scribble, scribble. Yeah, yeah. it'll be that colored in, too. It'll be, yeah. Right. Joey's will just have the letter R written in it. I would totally do that. <laughs> the stained glass is royal blue. All right. Endangered, which we just added at the last minute because Camilla said we had to because yep. it was a seven-day project. Oh, the 18-card escape room game. Hey. Which they already do those, though. It's That's their Call holiday it. hijinks series. Was that them, too? Mm-hmm. Ah, the yes. dog one? Are okay. those puppy dogs? No, no those are those red are wolves. wolves. Puppy wolves? <laughs> Go wolves. pet it. Go pet it. Yeah. <laughs> I this is actually like, looked at this the This is page like a yet. mini expansion, though, right? It's just a small one animal expansion. It is, but I don't think it's the the animal. Again, I haven't looked at the page You're yet. Quoted, what? baby! Stop! <laughs> Hammer time! <laughs> Wait, this gave you an 8 out of 10? I thought you would have had it higher than it's that, It's a actually. big 8 out of 10 from me, okay? I definitely <laughs> recommend it, Tom. I think it's a great game. I want to see more. <laughs> well, hey! <laughs> Anyway, what were you saying? This is what? No, I say I, I only got the email about it. I hadn't actually looked at the page, but I thought that this is a mini expansion, but their expansion before has been like, oh, a new animal you can work to save. Whereas this one brings an animal, but it's I thought it, they said it was going to like bring a new challenge or something to it. It's not going to be a like the other expansions. Deck. Yeah, I don't know what the new influential groups deck thing is. New animal, yeah, sure. Right. I don't know what that other thing is. Right, but, but yeah, it was supposed to be like a new mechanism it's bringing with it as well, not just like, a, oh, here's a panda, here's a whale, you know, something like yeah. that. It was it was actually um, different. And then the other one that I'm more I'm really interested in is the Holiday Hijinks. I really like that series. Yeah. You know, I played the Christmas one at Christmas, and yes, I've done it before. I'll probably, I got the the print and play one, actually, and yes, I printed it twice and played it twice. <laughs> you know? You're already ahead of me. Yeah, so um, <laughs> anyway, I enjoy playing them <laughs> around the seasons. So I think that's really fun. I'm, I'm excited about that. But it's not a holiday. It's, it's and not, which is interesting. In the same um, format, same style, but using this thing. I knew they theme. were going to run out of holidays. Yeah. They were going to get the things like ice cream day. You know? No, I would play they went that. to Earth Day, I, I guess, here. I would also play that so. one. <laughs> Who moved my ice cream cheese? <laughs> Gross. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> All right, ABA, gaming table for small spaces. Yeah. So, what oh, was this one? No, hang on. Well, I, I like looking at table projects here. This one is doing, it only has 10 backers. It's expensive. Which, well, most tables are, but I will give them this. Their table looks a little different than most of the table companies. Reminds me of that was it iron that one iron table that was out for a while that was really very inexpensive. But this one, this reminds me of my first gaming table, which was an IKEA table. Yes. Which I then overhauled and did plans for, took it apart and built like you know. So then the topper became a topper and it was mm -hmm. a recess. Like this reminds me of a manufactured version of that. Mine did not cost a thousand dollars, and I think that's where this project is going wrong. Unfortunately, is yes. with things like All Play in the market now. I'm either going to go and do it myself from IKEA, or I'm going to get a All Play table. You yes. know what I mean? Like it looks like a cheap table, but the price is not. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. it would be fun if it was a cheap table, right. and it looked nice. You know, I'm not right. saying it's you know no, yeah. cheap looking. Right. It's just an inexpensive sort of table. You know, it's not going to be. This sort of, you know, insanely high quality, amazing woods, all that stuff. It doesn't right. look like that anyway. Right. It might be, but it doesn't look like that. But then you're getting a price that doesn't seem to fit what you're showing me. That's my big thing. Because there was that iron, I forgot what they call it, the iron table. It was like a metal one that had Ooh. some wood on it, but it looked like it was a functional table. It was made for people that couldn't afford the nicer tables. Yeah. Right. And it was a low price point. I thought, oh, this is the same thing. I thought I so. get the price and I'm like, you could buy... Yeah, like you said. I definitely expected oh, this to be five to table. six, six to seven hundred if it's like, ooh, pushing it. You I know agree. what I mean? And so I think I was yep. like, ooh, a thousand? I mean, that was like instant, unfortunately, I think kind of out. And right. again, it's an unproven company right now. Yeah. Sing, it looks like it's one guy doing them. Right. Yeah, nobody, you're not, there's too much competition out there right now. No one's taking a thousand dollars and giving them to you to see if and when you deliver. They're right. taking that thousand yeah. dollars and giving it to all play or giving it to one of the other ones. Who's can deliver and yeah, soon? Yeah, it's not the whole price, yeah. but it it's a big chunk of it. Yeah. Is anybody else impressed close. with his living dining room here, though? It's the spacing clean. is amazing, oh, I but I don't think this person living. lives here. I think this is definitely <laughs> a. Still there? Oh. This thing feels oh. like an office building or something that he was like, oh. This space is going to be empty this week. I need to record in it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. I know. If I sat in that chair, I know we're having soup. 
Peacemakers Horrors of War. So this is hmm. um, what's the Snowcrest, the Snow. I'm sorry, Snowdale Snow yeah. design. So Peacemakers, this this looks. This is not the original Peacemakers game, which I think is well. The original you did not like Peacemakers. Well, right. Mike really likes it, and this is his pick of the week, by the way, folks. Um, he doesn't get to say that early. He did. I did. Oh, you're spoiling it. <laughs> yeah. Good job. This one is that game reworked. And you know what? Kudos for going back in after Gauzier and after mm. all the Dale Merchants game and reworking one that didn't quite hit, you know? I think some people like yeah. it. Mike really likes it. I never played it. The Peacemakers one. This, yeah. This okay. is a reworking original, of a yeah. game already called Peacemakers, yeah. hence the subtitle. Um it looks like it really got reworked quite a bit from what it I can tell. It looks really different. The original yeah. one was a tactical game, and basically each scenario of the game, there's these two armies. And you're like a small group of people go out, and you're playing card stuff to manipulate these armies to hurt each other evenly enough so that they both go, too much blood, we lay down our arms. I will say, that's the one yeah. thing that I liked, and, and not having played or any connection to the original, is I liked that it's not a boss battler, it's a peacemaker. Because if you destroy them too much and die, then you lose. You mm -hmm. don't want domination, you want peace. And I thought that you want to be right there in the middle. I thought that was really interesting. And I'm such a sucker now for these right here, these spiral bound books. Yeah, you know, on co-op games. Put this it on the table, that's the your board, game. that's your rules. I am such a fan of yeah. that. Yeah, that's a great way to do it. But this doesn't look like the original game at all. It got, and, yeah, it seems to be quite reworked. They also got rid of miniatures and added these in, and I think that's great. Yeah. I'm not tied to miniatures. I'd rather have these screen printed little meatballs. I thought this was interesting that they have the bases that it goes into as well. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really interesting because at first I was like, oh, why don't they just st stand up? But then I noticed that the players do just stand up. So it's just the baddies that are going to have that base. I was like, visually that's going to be yeah. big as well as if you have a lot of, I guess in this game they're not baddies because you're trying to, again, make peace. But the uh, those not baddies... To give the them two, that extra the stability, sides, okay, right. Yeah. To give them that added stability, I was like, "Gosh, I really like that." And I guess it's supposed to visually stand out that they are the two sides. Exactly, or it's whatever, just that right? quick reference, right? They all have the white bases, and yeah. I love the backs of these cards, oh, Todd. Yeah, this oh, looks yeah, really CEO. neat. And yeah. again, uh, it's not one I've played. Dawn of the Peacemakers, I guess, is what the original was called. It's not one I've played. I do like. This company, I, I like their games. That one still seems a little weird, and so does this one. This premise, I don't know. It seems like a weird premise to me. But at this point, oh, there's a nice comparison side by side too. Yeah, see, look at that. Mm. That's that one board, that tactical board. I guess I'm just intrigued by trying to. I'll, I'll try it again. I'll try it again, yeah. and maybe. I wish more things did. This. I'll back off. Well, I'll play with you guys That's when it comes really at them. Nice. We'll see what y'all think. Right. Yeah, this is one that I'm intrigued by. Yeah. Coming off of Lands of Galzir, um, they get they get like a pass from me for a while. Exactly. I'm like, yeah. yeah. I, I think so too. They show they can mm -hmm. do good things with simplicity. They've got a good world built up now. Yeah. They learned some things. It sounds like, and they're revisiting something, which I didn't realize. That just makes me that much more interested. I agree. I agree. You just played Galzir, right? Me? Didn't you play it like last week? No. Huh, I thought I, I saw people so. playing Gauss here. At the, At the retreat? retreat? Yeah. I want me. I don't know who that Somebody was. must have, but yeah, if maybe. I'd seen him, I would have run up to him and slapped it out of their hands. Yeah, and so don't touch it. like, can I play? <laughs> Please. River City Con board game and RPG convention in Louisville, Kentucky. Mm, pass. Just kidding. Not a big fan of Louisville. <laughs> oh! I was like, what? <laughs> Wow, he's, he's, Joey. <laughs> Why are you going to be so rude? Like, this is our first year for a con, and Joey's like, pass. Uh, Why are you going to be so rude? I, explain this to me, somebody. Go back up. Uh, All the Kentucky is, fans, is, we uh, like Louisville. Oh, Louisville, ahead, that part. known for rocket launches? I actually was wondering that myself. Joey, I was you're confused. from there, right? What's that? Louisville. I have no is idea. Is it known for rocket I, launches? It's not at all known for rockets. What's with I the... Know. I don't get it. I don't either. Apparently, unless they got a space program since I've left. I have been gone <laughs> <laughs> for a little while. Anyway, so. it sounds... Was this the one where they showed a video of the library with a drone? Yeah, right there. Yes. Yeah. I was impressed with this library. Well, like, Look, yeah, apparently yeah. these folks run different conventions. 
And they're just starting a little. They're little starting one, one here, yeah. so they've because they said this is the same library, and this footage is from another event they did elsewhere. We and this that. is the footage with the with the drone. Yeah, I I want a drone to take footage. That's I think we should buy one just for <clears> this, <throat> just to get. I wanted to take a drone to a con for a long time. I don't know that they how they pulled this off because I can't think of a hotel on earth that would be like, yes, you may bring a drone. I also in. don't know why they use why they use a drone. Why didn't they use a camera? Like that's a static panning shot. Oh, drones are now a thing at like these corporate events, like doing shows and stuff. There'll be just a drone up there. It's really hard not to just look at it. People do just still look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's it's weird how like stable it is. Yeah. Oh, we've, we're all focused oh. on the drone. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not the I know. I'm just saying. It's kind of creepy, anyway, like how well it pans and stuff. What is? Oh, God, I'm the saying carpet. for for a small oh, gaming. Oh, shoot straight oh. down. For a small <laughs> gaming con. Maybe an impressive. And the wind knocked that thing off the table. There. <laughs> anyway, for a small gaming con, I think it's a very impressive library. I agree. I agree. I, I, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. I was. I was. I was like, yeah. wow. Yeah. That, that's that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think this is and really I cool. And I give that praise. Not lightly. Well, I like that this is some, this is a group that's like you said they have this library and they're doing the cons the different places and that's kind of a Kickstarter. Hey, bring it to this area, yeah. right? You know specifically, uh, which I think speaks they have experience. They have a good library. You're you're backing that experience close to you. I think that's really really cool. Yeah, they've done this before. Ooh, Lexicon Lexington. I go to that one. <laughs> have you been there to Lexington? Yes. No, to that Lexicon. No. Oh. I assume maybe it's Lexington. I don't know. Okay. Any. We know a space program in Lexington, by the way. <laughs> the Wilderness. This one canceled. It's canceled, by the way. Oh, what? Was it canceled? Yeah. Yep. When did that happen? Uh, I, don't know. I looked at them this morning, so. They had 21,000. <coughs> yeah, but from, they wanted 65. Wait, or from something. 95 backers? <coughs> uh, we need a new pick of the week. Um, now nah, we're just going to skip it if it's canceled. All right. Oh, that's it for, uh, that's it for games. All right, we have some non-gaming stuff that we're going to come back to. But yeah. first, Mr. Mark Streed. Hey, folks. Welcome back to another Dice Tower Preview Recap. I'm Mark, and I'm here with Alita. And we just have a handful of games to look at. So let's get to it. And first up, we have Mythic Mischief Volume 2. Yes, this is a new edition. It is a standalone game, and this time the students are up against the groundskeeper, moving around the hedge maze as you manipulate the hedge maze, manipulate the path of the groundskeeper, trying to get your fellow students, your opposing teams, in the way of his rounds around the hedge maze. Try and get them trapped so you get as many points as possible as they get caught. And you know, this new edition can be combined with the original and there just gives you so many new factions to play with. You got fairies, you got gnomes, werewolves, and gargoyles might be my favorite. Give it a closer look. And next up, we have Theme Park Mania. Much like it sounds, you're building a theme park. And that's a big part of the game. A lot of the fun is cooperatively building the park and making it different every time you play. And then you're trying to acquire rides that you own in order to put those into play, as well as surrounding buildings to augment them and increase the price of someone going to ride on them. And obviously, at the end of the game, you're trying to get the most victory points. And there's a whole slew of ways to do that. But it is truly kind of that sim idea of building out a park and putting rides into play and then the park opens and everyone starts to flood in and you try to visit all the rides. And next up we have Dark Domains and this is the second edition of this. And the thing is this has been a very popular game. It's being put back into print but they're also doing several changes and the biggest one to be mindful of is the fact that they're reducing the number of resource tokens. Your elements, your resources, and your coins all down into a really obtainable board that you can just mark things off as you use them and acquire them. So that's the biggest change but to see more of the changes definitely go check out the preview. And next up we have Rogue Angel Legacy of the Burning Suns. Now, this is a narrative adventure for sure, with branching paths, all kinds of different story elements, and it really changes up as you play through the campaign and how you best develop your characters. It definitely is a sci-fi dungeon crawl tactical strategy game but with an amazing narrative and truly engaging, having that choose your own adventure feel at times. 
And finally, that brings us to Feud, the Seer's Prophecy. Now, this is definitely a battle tactical strategy card game where you have a leader of a Viking village and you're trying to come out on top against your opponent. Now, you have zones around your village to help you gain resources so you can pick up new and better cards. And your leaders are really the front runner here and you're gonna be battling back and forth. I have something like 10 health but your other characters are gonna have less health and some of them you actually will get benefits when they go to the graveyard. So that's not all bad when you lose these characters, but you need to definitely be mindful and keep those resources on hand. And then for my pick of the week, you know, this truly, truly was a difficult choice because Rogue Angels is 100% my kind of game. Incredible narrative, amazing character development, truly this epic adventure, but I really have to give it up for Mythic Mischief Volume 2. The new character classes are so good and it is this really neat abstract puzzly game and it will definitely hit the table a lot and I love the fact that there's so many factions and I generally play with a different faction every time I play. I haven't really found one that I would say I don't really like this one. It's just so different every time you use them and they have different abilities but they all do kind of the same thing but in a very different way. So give it a closer look. All right, folks, if any of these games look like they might be of interest to you, please go check out our full previews. And if you want your game featured as a Dice Tower preview, please shoot me an email. All right, folks, until next time, we'll see you at the table. Oh, I my goodness like it. me. It was Mark, you did not do that to our logo. It was the gargoyle. Mark controls the gargoyle. Mark oh, what? controls the gargoyle? Oh. All right, let's take a look at some not board game projects. If you have something weird, unusual, interesting, send it to me at tom at dicetower.com. We're going to start with something that's going to help you. Is it? Mm, yes, is Mr. It? Mr. Seagal. Is it a printer? This is. <laughs> oh, yes. That's right. You never set up the printer. It's suddenly on the four in there. I didn't say a 3D printer. Sorry, I, was, I didn't mean to go like Jews trauma territory. Way. It's ready. I have stuff. I have pitch card stuff I need to print. Batarangs? No. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal card magic, anyway. The ultimate guide to powerful to powerful card magic. Taught by the world's best. So, this is a guy named Ben. Mm -hmm. We know he's the best because David Blaine said Who he's Who I good. actually have heard Ben's of. magic looks real. Let me read yeah, it. Yeah. Ben's magic looks real. His movement is so fluid that everything feels effortless. That's not a bad quote. That's a pretty All good right. quote. I asked Joey to give me the lowdown on this guy, and Joey said, Who? 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 I t <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I know who the guy is. Illusionist is... Okay. A lot of these are... Um... <laughs> We're going to yes. get some drama. Tell me more. Me yes. See. I don't want to get in trouble here. Illusionist is fine. They're good. A lot of these are reactions that you can get. A lot of them are tricks you can get from books. Probably better to get in a card college, Royal Road of Card Magic, that type of thing, which a lot of these are in. But people like these to be repackaged in a video thing like this. So maybe it's good. Um, I like these theory. tricks always work? Uh, well, probably oh. if they're from those two books, yeah. But then that's not true. They don't always work. So. No trick kind of works 100% of the time. Oh, I feel like you should do Some a trick Some of these right now. are not full performances. This is. If you're just tuning in, Joey is a magician. Martial artist. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He will kill your entire family with a deck of cards. Oh, oh. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's a good way to get in and start doing... Illusionist does a lot of nice decks of cards and they things. They do, they do. Uh, they're not my favorite. Theory 11, probably. Theory like 11's stuff. very, very good, and there's a few others that are very good. Illusionist, I... I I have a few of their decks, and they're all right. Right. Okay, so Illusionist is a company, it's not... Ben Illusion, like not that it's no, his last no. name. Oh, he, I thought that was what he called himself. Like, no, I the original am... guy that started it is no longer there, but they, they oh, another place bought it. I see. And it's really they do great with the trailers and the reactions, and you can get these reactions out of these tricks. All right, I didn't want to huh. learn magic. I don't want you to teach me. Is this worth my time buying? No, I mean, okay, yeah. yeah. If you uh, want to learn from video, the younger generation, yes, this is a good way to do it. Otherwise, well, really. Dodge me there by saying younger generation, but thank you. Um, <laughs> I would do, um, yeah. Again, I, I prefer like the books and things like that. Once you learn from video, you're going to emulate rather than learn the trick. You're going to do exactly what they do on the video. 
to do the magic. Rather than a book, you're going to read the secret and then you're going to do your own personality in there. So I prefer books. So I but get this, I watch the video. You can do and it. And the next day I'm going to be amazing. You will try it. Career the next change, day. yeah. <laughs> you will not be amazing. <laughs> how, long, <laughs> how, long does it take, how long does it take to learn like one of these basic tricks and do it well? I mean, you could do so it. like a year? You could do years? it a couple days. No, be, I just shouldn't say that, but that's not true. But no, you could do it in a couple I'm days. so much. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you the sleight of hand type stuff. You've got to get stuff. good at it. Yeah, because they do go into some of the slights in there. Like passes and things like that, those take a lot. How long until you get good at sleight of hand? Because I'm still having to fake it right every there. time my son shows me a magic trick. Do you get the sleight of hand? <laughs> okay, it'll take a while. <sighs> yeah. I say nothing. Yeah, go, 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 like, go back, go wow. back up. There, there's some slights above, right there, right there. The diagonal yeah. palm shift. You know what that is? I do. What's yeah, the no, SWE um, shift? It's I don't know. That's that a one. shift. They, what oh, language? Um, color change, There's we know which F. one. Yeah, some of those are usually fairly easy. What is cascade control? Um, cas it's a way... <sighs> he can't say it right. on he, the he thing. Took, you know, it's a card trick type of thing. He took a thing. to talk to you guys about okay. this. Yeah, so it's a card. A lot of those are controls. It's a pressure fan, um, waterfalls where you hold like that, one hand to top palm. Yeah, these are good. And again, learning from video is easier for people. I want to learn how to do the T.G. Murphy deck flip. That's how to right. stop a man's heart with the Murphy deck flip. Can I do that? <laughs> Show can. me how, Mr. Seagal. How do I use a man's <laughs> Murphy against him while I drop him and then I go like make an omelet on the ship All I right. work on? Last time I wear this shirt. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> there's another what? game. Oh, yeah, this oh. one's hidden behind it. Okay, it's a, uh, sorry. Oh, you got a Murphy top flip dick. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that was a, tender, a trick taking duel game. Sorry, I missed this one. Floor oh, that's cool. Go back. Oh. That's dude. actually good artwork. I right really there. like really that. Nice. That is good artwork, but that title looks very Magic the Gathering. Like, very. It does, well, it actually. Is. Wasn't there, wait, isn't there a set that was almost called this? What is that set I'm thinking of? I don't know, but that just looks like a... Heroes of Xandar screams Magic the Gathering, but it's a trick-taking duel game. I'm just saying, if you show me that and say, where's it from, I'd say, that's the newest Magic set. Did that would be my guess. Didn't they say this I was, agree. like, inspired by? Yeah, kind well, of like sure. a I Command mean, and Conquer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But also, there's a Lego guy. This threw me off. When <laughs> I got to here, I'm like, yeah, what's happening that's there? weird. Why are, are they just being cute? Okay, I guess they're just being cute with the Lego, the little, you know, Lego people but no you can get these in here and it looks nothing like the rest of the artwork in the entire thing hmm. look why i was baffled by this wow nine inches, inches nine tall inches. i was doing the same thing i was like figure. whoa that big right yeah okay yes yes you're very good at estimation uh -huh. of this is why you don't like those <laughs> games where you measure <laughs> <laughs> that's this why. is true that's why I only know metric, okay? Get off my back. <laughs> I'm interested in this one, actually. I, I think oh, the okay. art is phenomenally good. Yeah. Why? Well, I, I don't understand that. Although trick-taking games with that much can, stuff can be overwhelming. You mean Legos? Watch yes, your mouth. Legos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to non-gaming stuff. What do we got? Game mm. night. I don't understand this. Mm. This is this is a an prototype project. for a. Computer. Platform, a computer, basically a Linux Linux computer that will run board games. It'll put an interface up on your TV, and you can access that interface with your phone. Mm -hmm. Your phone connects to this thing via Is Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, and you can mess with whatever's on the screen on your phone. And it already has a few games in it, such as, go back up, keywords. Which is definitely not a ripoff of code names. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. And also below that, you can get um, potion. What is it? Potion masters. Oh no. Go back down, Tom. <laughs> Which is definitely not. Read the description, Tom. All right. What game is this? <laughs> Another title inspired by a popular tabletop game. Fifty victory points. You will buy elements or use your elements to craft a potion. Mm -hmm. Some potions provide a permanent supply of an element. Some get victory points and some unique. Oh, it's a it's Splendor. It's Splendor. <laughs> Even to the 15 victory points, it's Splendor. Yeah. All right, well, let's see the next one. Hold that's them. it. No, that's it. It's Texas no, Hold'em. Hold <laughs> Wait, you didn't guess what it was. It's Texas Hold'em. That's yeah. it. 
So there's two games that they like, I guess, and they're ripping off, and they're hoping that people, I guess, will code for this stuff. I can't support. This is an a rip early. Off of code names. I agree. Right. This is a very, very early. We're testing the waters and people. trying to get investors. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. This step is not even for you to back this. This is for you to be a, for a chance for you to get the alpha version of this and be an investor and a tester mm -hmm. for them. You can pay to test their product. Yeah, but you wait. These guys are about to get sued by Lincoln and Nikki. Why is that? Game night. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Also, it's a terrible, terrible name. That's... All right. Wow. Little isopod buddies. I'm missing something on this. What's happening right now? We're looking at little... What are, what are these guys? Are these like anything go in them? Or this is just like... Are they just little keychain stuffed, stuffed animals yeah, that you, you can you get missing? at like they're, five I don't know. Below? They're not based on anything? No, they're isopods. Oh. Yeah, come on. You don't know what an do? isopod is? Yeah. Just in case the people out there don't. <laughs> 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 just like, let them know what it is. It's Rolly polies, man. Oh, rolly polies. See, okay. But, but like, but... Why do I need, want a keychain of that? I guess I, I mean I'm with they're Joey. Adorable is a sleepy one and an angry one. <laughs> but can't you go to Five Below and get this? I, uh, nice lapod, you can. Those are centipedes. Oh, okay. I don't like the. I don't like. I don't like the keychain part of it. No. What would you rather be hanging from its mouth? <laughs> Nothing. I just want the stuff there. What do you mean? All right, really, we got two more projects. But these are two of my favorite projects ever. Okay, first we have dogs play. Oh we gosh. haven't covered this, right? I feel this like we covered this already. Another one of the same thing. Oh, maybe Tom wasn't here that week. That's why he's excited maybe it about wasn't. it. Well, then you guys should. Yeah, well, we should talk right, about well, it again. Okay, Tom, yeah, go ahead. Tom. Tell me what you think. Fine. No, I was just <laughs> saying, my dogs can oh. sit and look at nothing. This is great. <sighs> yep. This is. I feel like maybe it wasn't the one we looked at. Maybe this is another one. I think this is another one. Dogs. That's what I'm saying. I think it's another one, but he wasn't here that week that we Mom covered it. Mom of Beethoven. She's a young mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's bad. <laughs> this is right here. This is interesting, though. If you go back up, it's like Mama Beethoven, H2, the dog, clearly mid 20s, single person household, studio flat, away 12 inches from the screen. Is that what that means? No, hours per day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was very confused. Like, Don't sit close. No, that means this. she's gone for 12 hours a day, the dog. Is alone for that much time uh, in this studio flat going insane. Oh my god. This dog is definitely going to murder you soon. That is so sad. The dog is watching. You need to set Beethoven free. You might not need a dog. <laughs> now they're showing the dogs watch it is get a pair. Would a dog sit and watch a TV the whole time you're gone? I don't think so. Dog it depends thing. if they have snacks. Dogs don't I get to see many dogs like watch <laughs> They're the only things in your house not addicted to the screen. You go home and your dog That's is like true. in your pajamas, chewing on your food, watching trash TV. <laughs> All right. Take everybody down with us. I, I love Joey. That the only on. one's not addicted to the screen. Hold on. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> if you want to. So you know what I'm doing on this couch all day. I, I guess so. Yeah. yeah. That made me on our next entry here, which I guess we I know we haven't got before, no. is from Black Mirror. Like straight up Black <laughs> Mirror. No. So this okay. is Ooh. Remember Me. I clicked on this so many times, hoping there was not a video, and there wasn't. Luckily. So isn't. Oh, one no. of your loved ones dies, or pre I guess before they die. Yes, you gotta yeah, do you that. Program it. You know you're dying. It's like, like hey, I'm gonna Nana, die. You don't look so hot. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking we need to do for you. I'm gonna get some questions and I'm gonna ask you some stuff. I'm gonna basically like mine you, data mine you, Grandma, and I'm gonna use that to create an AI that is going to. Will behave like you hmm? after you're gone, so that I can still ask it things. You know what I mean? Right. And again, if you wait too long, that's the really messed up thing. If you <laughs> went to Nana's in a hospital bed, <laughs> what you're getting from this AI artificial thing is like, hey Nana, how you doing today? Ah, my back hurts. Yeah, like, right. Oh, you're getting the, the last moment. Version. <laughs> it's horrible. Oh, no, no, I think perpetual the, suffering. I think the thing is, you're supposed to do this like now, but first of all, this is. It's beyond I, creepy. Also, it really is. But also, 
It's Come from on, Josh. Josh. <laughs> I <don't Yeah>. know. <laughs> Some guy who's a computer programmer, and I'm like... <laughs> he's not even putting his last name on there. No, he's like, you know, nah. Apple is looking at this going, nah, Josh. <laughs> if we can't, you can't. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's also, he spends a whole lot, he spends more of this time He's very clinical about this whole thing. Well, yeah. it's like, like a paper he wrote. I know. Right. I'm, I'm, like, this picture is also, like, super creepy. Because it actually looks like the boy is, like, talking to his grandmother. And she's like, where did my body go? She's from Futurama. <laughs> yeah, I she's know, I know. She's from Futurama. She's like, oh, I'm just ahead. It's like those three guys stuck in the Superman prison. But, <laughs> no, there was no joke a Black Mirror episode of this. Yeah, basically, yeah. There was a, it was more than this. It was an actual, like, robot, right? Or, like, they an android the or something. the consciousness of some person in... Yeah, a robot or a stuffed animal or something. And it was just basically based on her <laughs> memories of him. So that's he acted as it the way she remembered him. Gilbert Man. Godfrey's voice, like Mike said. All my family members <laughs> love Gilbert Godfrey's voice. <laughs> Can you imagine? How are you doing today, Grandma? I'm not feeling so well. <laughs> oh my word. <sighs> yeah, I this I this would be terrible. Like if my wife died and I still had this. I, I think I would break it after a while. So that would be so, so creepy. Like, it would be, this it, is not a healthy way to do <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, not the, the way Camilla's that process death. She was right, yeah, back oh, in my therapy session. Like, is this not is not healthy. how you process death. <laughs> Can you imagine taking this and combining it with the previous one where you do this with God. a pet? Oh. You do know your kids are going to take this to show and tell one day of your school, right? We're going to do Meet this. my grandma. Oh. <laughs> Look, it's grandma. people are always going to be garbage whenever I change people for the top my ten. My grandparents never came so to Grandparents Day, so I brought. just be a bunch of things here, and I'll be like, do a top ten on uh, adventure games. Bang the dice game. Hi. Bang oh the dice goodness. game. <laughs> Such a... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. All right. Okay. Let's... Look, my, my says, can we... <laughs> Can you reboot Grandpa? He keeps spinning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mac let's Edward. move on. Picks of the week. Oh my goodness. I know mine. I'll go first. Mine is, is this one. The Cosmic Cow Collectors, Nero Riders, mm -hmm. and Pots Squad. I just I'm, Super cute. I think it's a neat project. I'm excited about it. It's from a part of the world where we aren't seeing a ton of games coming out right now. And but these look like top notch. They may not be, they may be okay games, but they look like top-notch games. And I so agree. I'm pretty pumped about that. And this is mine as well. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah, there are several of them. And again, the cow, I really like that. I like I like the idea of these three. For $50, you get these. I really like the idea. I will tell you, I did like the Hallmark one and a couple other ones, too. But this is oh, this the one. Hallmark one. This one right here looks really good. All of these. And they all look so different and unique. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why... Again, not crazy that they're all three together, but since they are, save on shipping. I, do, I like it a lot. All right. I'm going with the endangered one. Um, nice. Well, good thing I had that at the last second. Then. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, I really like the Holiday Hijinks series, and that's really what's kind of driving me in. It's just this, again, just a new, fresh one of those uh, that's not tied to a specific holiday. Really excited about that. And then something new to endangered. I don't feel like I've outplayed what I already have of endangered, but... Um, an animal that's going to work a little bit differently is intriguing to me. So I'm excited about both the things that this is going to be bringing. It's a nice plug and play system, right? You just it plug is, yeah. Animal in. Yep. Yep. All right. And then it's me. I'm yep. going to go with Harvest. Oh, that's another That was my yeah. second yeah. thing. Yep. Hallmark. Hallmark. Oh, he's no, so excited. No, 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 yeah. No. Well, Mike, I'm sure, like I said, is it's picking just... the. Um, the one from, oh, what's it called? Oh, Peacemakers. Uh, no, Peacemakers. Peacemakers, yeah, 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 because that was another one. This is between, for me, it's between Peacemakers and this. Both look really charming. This is my second pick. Yeah, honest. and I, I tend to like the quality and the look of Keymaster games. So, mm -hmm. while I haven't, uh, actually, they had, they had this in person, they had like a, like a prototype of this at Gen, Gen Con. Con, did they? I think so. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I didn't see it. And it just, it sounds cool. It looks neat, sounds good. I love the charming look of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, never played the original one, so it would be a brand new game to me, but I'm interested. There we go. Cool. Looks good. All right, folks, that is it for crowd surfing. We'll be back tomorrow morning with uh, board game Smorgasbord. Smorgasbord. And uh, we'll see you then. Uh, until then, I'm Todd Vassal. I'm Joey Evans. I'm Camilla. I'm Z. I don't know. Bye. Calm down over there. Calm down over there, all right? <laughs>